Hello, my beautiful Cancers. Welcome in, darlings. Welcome in. This is your weekly reading. New schedule. Every Tuesday, you will find your weekly reading. So this Tuesday, uh, today, uh, your reading is uh, for the 18th through the 25th, okay? So every Tuesday. All right, my darlings. Welcome in. Carolina Moonbeam here. Happy to have you, uh, happy to bring these messages to you. Absolutely my mission and um, I'm on it for you. So what's happening? Uh, the channel is growing and I'm super excited about that. I'm wanting, I'm wanting to add more content and uh, just really work hard at getting these messages to you. So for those of you that don't know, first time maybe being here, hey, welcome in, much love to you. Uh, I'm a psychic medium and I have a guide with me. Her name is Josephine and she brings me the messages. She's here with us today. And uh, yeah, some funny things come out, you know, you never know with sweet Josephine. Uh, she's a very bubbly uh, a spirit, a very bubbly being. Um, so I got some psychic messages for you and so I want to get those out to you my darlings my darlings so this is Cancer Sun Moon Rising and Venus uh, love and relationship and any spiritual messages that want to come through okay darlings this is what I got um, so rite of passage came out like really loud and I'm like so I'm like what is that so typically, it, what it means is there's a possibility of a physical move. You could be moving homes, okay? Um, and then I got earned it. So you could be moving into a new home. Some of you could be moving into that dream home, that place that, that you've been wanting to get, wanting to move to for a long time, okay? Because I got you earned it. You earned it. Wow. And then I got who knew? Now that was interesting because the energy around that felt like, um, who knew that she had it in her or, or he had it in him? Who knew that they could achieve what they're achieving? And also, um, also who, who knew you would never think that that would be, you know, you, right? Other people are saying this. Okay. And then I got, uh, and then, you know, we just, wow, man. Okay. Um, coming together with someone you would never think possible or people would never think possible. Uh, it feels like a union, some kind of a, a thing happening here out of the norm, possibly with somebody eccentric. You could be eccentric. There's something that you would, that you're doing that's completely surprising people. Okay. Could be a reconciliation. I did hear that. Uh, and then the last thing I heard, which I just giggled, was, I'm a coming. So, yeah, somebody's a coming. So, get ready. Get ready kind of feeling. I'm a coming. So, <laughs> there you go. Okay, my darlings, what I want to do is uh, pull my my moon sticks. This is Carolina Moonbeam's Magic Moon Sticks. And I am decided to pull these out and start using them. So what I'm going to do is shake them up. It's going to get kind of loud, so bear with me. Just hit the like button while well, <laughs> you're hearing the shake. So I'm going to shake them up. Okay, we got two. Wait for it. Wow, wait for it. I'm a coming. <laughs> on its way. Something's on its way. Okay smoke filled room smoke filled room so this is that feeling of you know you go and you meet somebody uh i mean think about the smoke filled room right you know you know that you can't you are choosing to not uh see things or see this person or see something in the light of day because you like that smoke, you like the way it looks just the way it is and you really don't care. You really don't care. It's that smoke filled room. It's that, you know, that place that, you know, 
uh, taboo kind of thing, you know, it, it, it kind of goes along with that feeling of who knew, whoa, who knew that that would, that, you know, they would do that, right, kind of thing. So, wow. Oh, my gosh. Okay, that's so cool. I'm going to put those over there. And then um, we're going we're gonna to get to the tarot. Okay, so I'm going to pull these oracle cards and get a feel. So I will be offering an extended read, and you can hit that link. It will be in the, um, in the description box below, or you can find that. Uh, I will pin it to the comments, okay? So you can just hit that link, and we'll go over there, and we'll get more information about the person, why they're here, what's going on. Just see what else comes out from the spirit, okay? Find out what the blocks are, stuff like that. All right, my sweet Josephine, be with us here, be with us today. Uh, help me to get these messages out for our beautiful cancers. Um, and thank you so much, my team, my guides. I love you so much. Okay, here we go, beautiful cancers. Right on. Feel really good energy, excitement, a lot of excitement. We've got the fates. Wow, something faded, you earned it. I feel like you earned it. The Fates also speaks about um, letting go of control, right? Right place, right time. Also um, speaking about acceptance. Accepting that you can't change certain things, right? It's out of your control. Wait for it, okay? It's out of your control. I'm a coming, something's coming, okay? Definitely faded, definitely karmic. Uh, Treasure Island. <laughs> There you go. This the, there's a gift that you earned it. It's it's right there. There you go. Oh my gosh. Yin energy, baby. Yes. This feels like the smoke-filled room to me. <laughs> but just very passive energy, feminine energy, okay? Uh, not not having to be in control, letting go, but in a really good way right letting go in a really good way okay i'm going to pull in from the bottom observer <laughs> i'm coming <laughs> somebody's watching somebody's watching okay so somebody's looking at our beautiful cancer okay and they're deciding i want to get there i want to get to cancer wow okay so we're going to pull the tarot now keep going with our beautiful love story here and find out what's happening Alrighty, darlings, darlings. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, looks good, feels good, feels right. Here we go. Okay, so I'm just going to start pulling some of these cards and, and see where we are. Ooh, Page of Swords. So you've been doing some learning, a lot of studying, a lot of learning, uh, possibly watching somebody. <laughs> um, you definitely are full of magic right now. Uh, we've got the Page of Swords and the Queen of Wands. You're definitely full of magic. See the magic that you possess, the passion, the light, the star, the, the up front, the throw that kiss, right? Just really being that beautiful outgoing um, flirt, flirting uh, with the right person. Wow. Uh, hi, priestess. This is the opportunity. The opportunity to wait for it. <laughs> Information coming. Because we do have this, uh, the Page of Swords, okay? Page of Swords. And this is the situation. So this could be the other person coming in, very eccentric, very upfront, outgoing, uh, you know, just really. So this is, the I mean, this is the opportunity right here to listen to your intuition, pay attention. Do you want to be in that smoke-filled room? Do you want to be? This person is up front, but they're mysterious, okay? This person that's coming in. 
Wow. Opportunity, my love. Opportunity to to listen to that intuition. To um, your intuition will tell you the mystery that lies there. Okay. King of Wands. So this is the this is from your higher self, King of Wands. So King of Wands is all about taking action, being the leader. Okay, so, so this tells me that you have the power to lead this situation to wherever you want it to go. Okay, Spirit is telling you, wait for it. Wait for that intuition. Wait for information that's coming, okay? But you have that. We have the King and the Queen. Aries, Leo, Sag energy. Aries energy. Uh, fill in the Leo. We're, we're just, we're really, you know, we're really talking about a very passionate smoky filled room you know very passionate get together here it looks like oh my gosh okay so we've got uh, the eight of swords with some sleepless nights some being trapped in the head a little bit of confusion a little bit of um anxiety nervousness nervousness over the situation definitely this is definitely about it this is in your near future this is definitely about a commitment okay this is definitely about a commitment. This card also speaks about spiritual awakening because, you know, Carolina Moonbeam is going to throw that spiritual stuff in there because that's what I'm about, right? So this really speaks about that. Coming together, possibly on a spiritual level also, because you definitely have all this passion here. I mean, there's fire, there's energy here. So there's definitely uh, some kind of influence there with the spiritual awakening process. Definitely a commitment. A commitment is calling. A commit, I'm a coming. A commitment is calling. This could be from somebody that lives, uh, you know, quite a ways from you and you're getting together, you're moving house, you guys are getting together into something that you're very excited about, a home that is just off the hook that you've been waiting for, a union that's off the hook, right? Uh, King of Cups. Hey. So this is in the past, and this is beautiful, wonderful, incredible energy. This is father energy. I'm kind of feeling a father energy here. Um, you know, this is about really being steady with your emotions, not being uh, emotional, not being dramatic. Um, you know, knowing that your ship's coming in because you see that ship off in the distance, so you're being calm, you're being cool, smoke-filled room, cool collective suave you know just kind of like that kind of groovy feeling there <laughs> you could have been dealing with a father in your in your uh, life here uh, somebody with a lot of wisdom uh, possibly somebody that's older than you this person could be older than you oh my lord eight of cups definitely some kind of move here this is how you're being seen. So you're moving off, and I think you're moving off with someone. So you're you're definitely, you know, eight of cups going off into the sunset there. Wow, how exciting, y'all. Dang. The devil. <laughs> this is in the uh, immediate near future here. So there's going to be some temptation, um, you know, possible... Um, something okay it's going to be your decision right your decision on what you decide and what you allow is I'm really hearing that right I'm really hearing that so this is the devil here there could be somebody in your life that tempts you a lot and kind of pushes you kind of manipulates you to do things that you wouldn't normally do and and yeah so that's that's definitely happening okay two of pentacles two of pentacles so this is the juggle the great juggle right the great uh teeter-totter you know the great balance the the dance you know the flow the the never ending you know we've got the infinity right flow of life and the decisions that we choose to make during that time because this is about making a decision. And this is something that you're a little bit like, well, I don't want, you know, yikes. I don't know if I want to make a decision, you know, kind of thing. 
Uh, but there's definitely a lot of positive, a lot of positive coming from this card. I feel the energy off this card right now. So making that choice is positive. Okay, making that choice is something that's positive. The moon. <laughs> <laughs> the moon baby there's something mystery there this is really about being uh, to this card right now the energy that i'm feeling from this card is about being submerged okay that smoke filled room being submerged into um emotions and the unknown uh you can see that she's submerged under the moonlight there can't really see can't really see very well in that in that water like in that smoke filled room right so there's there's uh interesting you're gonna really have to rely on your gut and your intuition and understand that you know wait for it right wait for the information to come to help you so there could be some secrets some things that you're um you know not that you're that is that you don't know that's coming out um there also feels like a some magic here i'm just feeling the magic there's magic here so there's something that do could have something to do with our new moon some kind of lunar influence uh what you don't know i feel like is okay it's not a major thing definitely the spirit's asking you to wait for it though to find this thing out okay whatever it is all right let me check and see what what else we got going oh my gosh for reals yeah there's this is just confirmation confirmation that you guys are coming together confirmation wow page of wands a lot of communication a lot of passion this is like this is like your jump start the power the power that lies beneath that you know that beginning that coming together wow you know we can do this thing who would have thought right who would have thought seven of cups really both of you are going for your dream you guys are it's a meeting of the mind here meeting of the mind and meeting of the hearts but I feel that mind, those dreams, the things that you really want, looking out, deciding what, where do I want to live, what do I want my house to be, how much do I want to pay, um, what's going next, right? What are the choices? What are the choices that we have here? Tower. This card. Hey. <laughs> Tower. This is Aries energy. Tower comes in. Typically, when it's next to the to the uh, Seven of Cups, it always makes me feel like either there's a choice that you're going to make that's going to bring the tower in, or th this is an epiphany. Oh, I can choose that. Oh, you know, aha moment. Like, I oh, I figured it out. But let's see what the next card is. Yes, opportunity. This is an epiphany. This is an opportunity for love. This is a beautiful rating, Cancer. Dang. Oh, my gosh beautiful wow this is a new opportunity for love and the and the choices that you make you know oh my oh my god oh my god. we got the sun we got the sun see the sun is going to trump this the sun is going to show all the light into the unknown and mysterious and secret spaces into the smoke filled room okay that's what's going to happen that sun is going to shine and you're going to be able to recognize this love and see this love. So if you're asking, if somebody else, someone out there right now is asking this, how am I going to know? You're going to know. There's, you're just going to know. Okay? Wait for it. I'm a coming. If you've been manifesting that person, that one, the one, okay, that soulmate, they're coming. Okay? And you're going to know it. You're going to know who they are. <sighs> Definitely moving off definitely moving off to to a place together y'all look at that this is the rite of passage card this is the rite of passion passage card you earned it you earned it okay you went through those troubled waters man you went through them you went there now you're going to get into to calmer waters okay you went through that 
particular dark night of the soul situation and now you're coming out the other side and you're moving to calmer waters and you're moving with somebody hello oh my gosh <laughs> wow what a beautiful incredible reading okay i'm going to go over to the extended get some information on this person see if we can't find out who they are also why they're here um and the blocks what's blocking the situation right now okay all right my darlings i love you so much don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and hit the link below and i will see you over there much love to you tuesdays bye darling cancers